we often hear the term everything is an object in javascript whether it be arrays or functions everything is an object or at least a special type of object and so this brings up the question are strings and numbers also an object in javascript well the short answer would be no but the more accurate answer would be it depends i know it's confusing and you might be wondering how can a string or number also be an object in any way at all that doesn't make sense and yes i know this can be weird but let's try to understand what's happening behind the scenes in javascript there are primitive types and object types Primitive types are data that is not an object and has no methods or properties. And object types are, well, of course, objects itself. There are seven primitive types in JavaScript, which are string, number, big int, boolean, undefined, symbol, and null. Now you might wonder, if primitive types are data that is not an object and has no methods or properties, then how does a string access a property or method like length while using str.length, or how does a number access a property or method like toFixed when it's not an object? Well, that's where JavaScript performs its magic. Strings and numbers are primitive types, but when you access properties or methods on them, JavaScript automatically converts them into their corresponding object wrappers, which are string and number objects. Here's an example with a string. So behind the scenes, when JavaScript converts the primitive string value into a string object wrapper, the code would look something like this. In this code, the new string str expression creates a temporary string object wrapper around the primitive string value stored in the variable str. This string object contains all the string properties like length and more. So this temporary object is then used to access the length property, returning the length of the string. It's important to note that this conversion to an object wrapper is done implicitly by JavaScript. So you don't need to explicitly create a string object in your code. The conversion happens automatically behind the scenes when you try to access properties or methods on the primitive string value. The same happens while working with numbers. The behind the scenes implementation of this code looks something like this. Similar to the string example, this conversion to an object wrapper is done implicitly by JavaScript, so you don't need to explicitly create a number object in your code and the conversion happens automatically behind the scenes when you try to call methods on the primitive number value. And one more thing, although strings and numbers can be treated as objects with properties and methods in JavaScript, it's important to know that they are immutable, which means any operations or modifications on them return new values or new objects rather than modifying the original string or number. So in a nutshell, strings and numbers are primitive types, but JavaScript can automatically convert them into their string or number object wrappers when needed. So that's all for the video, if you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.